It's an animal matchup. A series of 15 battles to see who's the best and baddest. Find out who takes all on Animal Showdown. It's Earth's largest living land mammal, up against a super small insect. Looks like there's a clear champion, right? Don't count these mini but mighty insects out just yet. So who's the strongest? A heavyweight that packs a powerful punch, letting its size speak for itself. Weighing as much as seven tons, standing as tall as 13 feet, and able to lift more than 500 pounds. The elephant, or our lightweight, a tiny but tough contender who's strong in all sorts of weird ways, weighing less than one thousandth of an ounce, and able to lift many times their own weight, the weaver ant. First up is our heavyweight, the elephant, a gentle giant of the wild. With a strong trunk and legs, people have used these massive creatures for thousands of years to push, pull, pick up, and carry heavy things. There are two species of elephants, African and Asian. Both are huge. African elephants only slightly outweigh Asian ones. And it's not just size and weight that make an elephant so strong. Its structure plays a big part. To hold up all its body weight, elephants have extra thick bones that don't crack under pressure. Its beefy bones are strong enough to withstand all that weight, pushing the force downward into its heels, where big, fatty pads of tissue help balance the weight around their feet and absorb vibrations from their body movements. And its trunk is strong too, made up of 15,000 muscles and not a single bone. This appendage is powerful yet flexible, able to pick up a tree, and using its finger-like structures at the end of the trunk, pick up an item as small as a peanut. If we're judging just on the ability to lift, it seems like there's no contest, right? The African elephant is the winner, trunks down. What about heavy lifting with your mouth? Time to meet our challenger, the lightweight. Weaver ants weigh less than one thousandth of an ounce. This tiny insect is super strong in all kinds of ways. There are about twelve thousand species of ants living worldwide. Most famous for their snapping jaws and ability to lift several times their own weight, Weaver ants' mighty mouths are put to the test. The strong muscles in the ants' head and jaw-like mouth parts, called mandibles, can lift humongous loads. And like weightlifters, they control and balance their weight. They also have tiny, moist pads to help them grip on slippery surfaces. Even more impressive is that weaver ants hardly weigh anything. These light weights are tiny and don't have bones, so their small size works to their advantage. Unlike elephants, ants use much less muscle power to support their own weight. Leaving more power for lifting objects, the elephant may be one of the brawniest beasts in the animal kingdom, and can lift hundreds of thousands times more than an ant. But an ant can hoist two hundredths of an ounce of bug larva, the equivalent of a vitamin pill. This may seem like nothing, but that's one hundred times its own weight. Hands down, it's a knockout win for the weaver ant. The super small lightweight beats the super sized heavyweight. And advances to the next round. Find out who's the toughest on our next matchup between a water bear and a giant tube worm on Animal Showdown. It's an ultimate animal matchup. A series of 15 battles to see who's the best and baddest. Find out who takes all on Animal Showdown. These two contenders take tough to the next level. They're both able to stay alive in the craziest conditions, like freezing cold to boiling hot temperatures that would kill most animals. Who do you think is the toughest? An itty bitty bear that's tiny but tough, less than one inch long. That's less than half the size of a poppy seed, and lives in the most extreme conditions. The water bear. Or our challenger, a weird but 
rugged creature that can grow up to six feet tall and has an arsenal of alien-like abilities, the giant tube worm. Which of these deep sea creatures do you think will survive the battle? Let's meet our first competitor, the water bear. A mini but mighty beast that isn't actually a bear at all. It only resembles one, one of the world's tiniest visible animals, an eight-legged invertebrate, which means it has no backbone or bony skeleton. This indestructible miniature bear can survive in the harshest of conditions, like the deepest parts of the ocean, severe drought, or even in outer space. That's right, water bears can survive without air, endure radiation blasts, and stay strong in the freezing temperatures of space. Surviving conditions that are out of this world is one thing, but this tiny Terminator can do something else really weird. Water bears can transform themselves into a glass-like cocoon and live in this state for more than 10 years, and then go right back to normal. How's that for tough? Now for our challenger. Also no stranger to the harshest, most extreme living conditions. Growing up to six feet long, the giant tube worm may not look tough. It may not even look like a worm, but is a very rugged contender. This deep sea creature has no eyes, no mouth, no digestive tract, and no bottom. Now that's a pretty tough fact to follow. Giant tube worms don't have to eat. They get all their food from the bacteria living inside of them. So no food, no problem. Living one mile below the surface of the Pacific Ocean, these creatures are not afraid of the deep sea. It's so deep there that the atmospheric pressure of the ocean could crush most other animals. But this tube worm is totally tough. It's able to survive with no sunlight, freezing temperatures, surrounded by burning liquids, like a super hot black smoker chimney, belching out materials as hot as 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that you've seen our two challengers, who do you think wins out? The tiny but tough water bear or the weird and rugged giant tube worm? It's a tough call. Both can withstand the harshest of conditions and redefine what it means to be an animal. But there can only be one winner to advance to the next round. This victory goes to the teeny tiny water bear. After all, they can survive being starved, frozen, Oil, and even shot out into outer space. Now that's one tough animal. Find out who wins the title of prehistoric batting on our next ultimate matchup between a Quetzalcoatlus and a Super Croc on Animal Showdown. It's an ultimate animal matchup, a series of 15 battles to see who's the best and baddest. Find out who takes all on Animal Showdown. Let's travel back in time for a battle between two mega contenders, the biggest and baddest nightmare versions of present day predators that take super size to another level. Will they fight it out in the sky or in the water? Who do you think will take the title of prehistoric baddie? A giant flying reptile that could grow as tall as 16 feet, the Quetzalcoatlus. Or a jumbo-jawed monster reptile that was up to 40 feet long and is as heavy as a small whale, the Super Croc. First up is the Quetzalcoatlus, a giant flying pterosaur that lived 70 million years ago during the age of the dinosaur in what is now Texas. Weighing in at more than 400 pounds, the Quetzalcoatlus is thought to be the largest flying creature that ever lived. This feathered serpent was a frequent flyer champion, capable of soaring up to 10,000 miles in one flight. That's almost half the distance around the world. Similar to storks, these supersized scavengers stalk their prey from the sky, snatching fish from the water and mammals from the ground. Even though they had no teeth, these prehistoric predators used their eight-foot-long beaks as weapons. And when on land, they could fold up their wings and walk on all fours, terrorizing their prey. Now that we've seen the biggest and baddest prehistoric animal of the air, 
Let's meet a colossal creature that dominated the water, the Super Croc. A formidable challenger that lived in Africa. 110 million years ago, during the Middle Cretaceous period, a time when most of the landmass we are familiar with was underwater, making the ancient rivers this mega croc's playground. Weighing in at a monstrous eight tons, this massive creature was twice as long as today's crocodiles. Armed for battle with a super tough exterior covered in scoots, bony plates that protect its neck, back, and tail from predators. Passed down over millions of years, today's crocs Alligators and turtles share the same protective shield. And this mega monster's greatest weapon of all was its jumbo jaws. Lined with more than 100 powerful teeth, its jaws were nearly six feet long. It's a prehistoric beast that was able to eat small dinosaurs as well as fish. Both were super in size, stealthy stalkers, and used their mega mouths as weapons. Who will it be? The Quetzalcoatlus or the Super Croc? Only one can advance to the next round. The win goes to... The Super Croc. After all, it was humongous, had a tremendous fight force, and outweighed the Quetzalcoatlus by 17,000 pounds. The Super Croc literally crushes its competition and wins the title of prehistoric battle. Who will win the title of best companion, cats or the dog, on the next ultimate matchup on Animal Showdown? It's an ultimate animal matchup, a series of 15 battles to see who's the best and baddest. Find out who takes all on Animal Showdown. It's time to put an age-old rivalry to the test. Let's see how humans' two favorite pets, cats and dogs, match up for the title of best companion. Using science, we'll compare their smarts and skills to see who's the top dog or cat's meow. Forget which team you think you're on. Let's give each contender a fighting chance. The winner may surprise you. Which would you rather have for a pet? Compact size companion known for its charm, weighing as little as five pounds and less than three feet long? The cat, or a furry friend who can be playful or protective, weighing as much as 250 pounds or as little as three pounds. The dog. Who do you think will win the battle of best bud? Let's meet our first competitor, the cat. This frisky feline's history is as mysterious as its behavior. Cats may have been kept as pets as long as 12,000 years ago. Cats have lived all over the world and come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. No matter the breed, they all belong to one species. All cats share the natural ability to stalk and pounce on prey, but their favorite pastime is sleeping. In fact, cats can sleep more than 15 hours a day. So for people who don't have time to tend to a pet more than a few times a day, a cat may be the perfect fit, winning points for being a low maintenance pet. Competition is heating up. We've seen the perfect companion, the cat. Now it's time to meet human's best friend, the dog. This challenger is eager to fetch the winning title. Dating back about 10,000 years, dogs and wolves share the same ancestors, natural wild hunters that roamed in packs searching for food. Eventually, some evolved into dogs and developed close relationships with humans. Today, several breeds range in size and temperament, from the yipping cupcake-sized chihuahua to the massive, gentle giant, the Great Dane. Weighing as much as a heavyweight at 250 pounds to less than a strawweight at three pounds. No matter the size, dogs have lots of love for their human friends. The specialness of these canine competitors is also in their learning ability, from the ordinary to the extraordinary. Dogs can be trained to do everyday things like sit, stay, go, fetch, and give. Ride a skateboard, help people with blindness get around, and even drive a car. These trained tricksters are pretty awesome. Yes! Yes! Wow! 
wire. It's come down to the wire. Both are loved and adored by the people who care for them. Who wins the bragging right of best pets? The cat or the dog? Only one can advance to the next round. The winner is the dog. Their friendship with humans goes so deep. Canine besties that snuggle, fetch, protect, and shower their human friends with so much love. That's a KO for dogs as the perfect pet. So sorry, cat lovers. It was a tough call, but the winner of the title of best companion goes to the dog. Find out who wins the title of the biggest on our next matchup between a blue whale and an Argentinosaurus on Animal Showdown. It's an ultimate animal matchup. A series of 15 battles to see who's the best and baddest. Find out who takes all on Animal Showdown. It's time for one of our most epic battles yet. An earth-shaking matchup between the blue whale and the Argentinosaurus for the title of biggest. A smackdown for the ages where two beastly behemoths battle it out. Who do you think will come out on top? The biggest present day animal to swim through the world's oceans at speeds of five to 20 miles an hour, weighing a massive 200 tons, the blue whale or its worthy contender. One of the biggest dinosaurs ever discovered, standing 70 feet tall, measuring an enormous 120 feet long, and weighing more than 10 African elephants, the Argentinosaurus. Here's our first competitor, the blue whale. There's big, and then there's ginormous. This magnificent marine mammal's body can grow up to 100 feet long, and pumping inside it is its enormous heart, weighing 400 pounds. And speaking of big body parts, let's not forget its massive mouth with a tongue weighing as much as an elephant. And a big mouth means a big appetite. Blue whales bulk up by eating up to four tons a day of tiny shrimp-like creatures called krill. Not only is this supersized sea creature large, it's also loud. These goliaths make low frequency sounds and communicate with other blue whales as far as 1,000 miles away. Using groans, moans, and whistles, they are able to find food and socialize. Believe it or not, blue whales are one of the loudest animals on the planet. Now that we've seen the biggest present day animal of the sea, the blue whale, Let's travel back in time to meet one of the biggest prehistoric animals to ever have walked the earth, the Argentinosaurus. This big beast lived during the Cretaceous period, almost 100 million years ago in what is now Argentina, South America. These lords of the land ruled one of the world's hotspots for the biggest and baddest dinosaurs. Built for battle, this giant lizard used its size to its advantage against predators. Surprisingly, this huge dinosaur wasn't a carnivore, but a herbivore. Feasting only on plants, the Argentinosaurus could devour a buffet-style helping of salad fast, and would constantly be on the move to feed their big appetites. And all those veggies left a trail of some powerful poop. Lucky for us, scientists have been able to estimate just how much. These dumb, dropping dinos pooped almost four gallons at one time. Whoa, look out below. This big battle has been a test of how much size really matters. Both of these mega-sized monsters top the charts in water and on land, built with big bodies and big appetites. It's gonna be a tough call. Tip to tail, the Argentinosaurus is believed to have been longer than the blue whale. But when it comes to weight, the massive blue whale smacks down its competition, weighing more than twice as much. The title of biggest goes to the blue whale. It's known as not only the largest living animal, but also the largest animal ever.
find out who wins the title of the laziest on our next matchup between a sloth and the koala on Animal Showdown. It's an ultimate animal matchup. A series of 15 battles to see who's the best and baddest. Find out who takes all on Animal Showdown. For this animal matchup, we're going to slow the pace way down. These two contenders might make you feel like taking a nap. Don't get your pillows out just yet. We want to see how these super sleepy slowpokes, the sloth and the koala, battle it out for the title of laziest. So go grab a snack, but don't worry, you won't miss anything because they're never in a hurry. Well, let's get to it. Who will it be? The slow moving mammal that's about the size of a small to medium sized dog Weighing up to 18 pounds and around two feet tall, the sloth. Or the other super slacker, the sleep and eat the day away marsupial. Weighing about 20 pounds, give or take, and measuring up to three feet tall, looking like a plush stuffed animal, the koala. First up is the sloth, a low energy loafer that lives in Central and South America and is best known for living life in slow-mo. <sighs> Sloths use these extra long limbs to hang from trees and feast on leaves. And when they're not eating, they're curled up catching a few Zs. Sometimes they're so zapped that they'll even sleep hanging from their claws. These party poopers are not one to socialize. They live a very solitary life, sleeping about 15 hours a day. And even when they appear to be asleep, they're actually awake. Sloths move at such a snail's pace that even algae can grow on their fur. It may sound gross, but it actually helps them blend in with their leafy backgrounds. Wait, don't doze off just yet. We still have another contender. Next up is the koala, a cute and cuddly creature from Eastern Australia that looks like a miniature-sized teddy bear, but it's actually not a bear at all. Because they are marsupials, koalas get carried around in a pouch attached to their mom's belly until they're ready to be on their own. What a perfect way to be rocked to sleep. These nocturnal sleepyheads take dozing off to another level, sleeping mostly at night for 18 hours a day. But don't get too excited. They're not exactly the life of the party. Koalas are convenient eaters and are so lazy they hardly ever leave the eucalyptus trees where they have endless supply of their favorite snack, eucalyptus leaves. Less time searching for food means more time for lounging. So far, this has been the most laid back battle yet. These two competitors are either asleep or daydreaming about sleeping. Talk about lazy. So who gets it? The slow-mo sloth or the sleepy-headed koala? Both live carefree lives. Sloths may move slowly, but at least they don't sleep most of their days away. The winner is the koala. Despite their lack of effort, they get the title of laziest for living an incredibly lackadaisical life of leisure. Well, that's it for round one. Six battles down, nine more to go. Find out which animals are ready to fight it out on our next series of matchups on Animal Showdown.